What is going on culture crew? Thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're gonna talk about three projects that are about to moon and you don't wanna miss it because there's a possible two to three X gains in these in a very short upcoming days and weeks. Now, if you guys are new here, my name is Lewis and this is Culture Money. If you like cryptocurrency and investing, then this channel is for you. So make sure to join the family and hit that thumbs up button so more people just like you can see these videos. But there's also one other thing that I don't really tell you guys that often and it's, that's hit the notification bell, guys, especially for videos like these, because if you catch these videos even a few days late, well, you're probably going to miss the opportunity. So make sure to hit the notifications on these videos as well. And now let's get started. So I know a lot of you guys are looking for that next 10x or 100x or maybe even just 5x and you guys are just looking for the next big opportunity but you're looking in the wrong places i know a lot of us like to search the micro caps the very small projects but i will tell you what those projects seem to crash really hard and human emotions never really lets us sell when we're in profit because we think it can go much higher but I have three projects for you today that are larger caps, very safe investments, and that have been beat up over the last couple of weeks. And right now they look like they're about to get ready to moon once again. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you to death with any of the pre-monologue. Now let's go ahead and jump into the first project. You guys are gonna like these, I promise. Stay tuned because I will throw in a bonus fourth if you guys stay to the end. Okay, so the first project is one that I've spoken about before. I've made videos on this one. If you're not familiar with it, I'll leave a link at the top of this video right now and in the description so you guys can check out what this project is all about. The first one is Audius, and I really like this project. It is on a smaller side. It's not a huge market cap, but it is a very good project that a lot of people out there have been following. And I believe it's probably one of the best ones in its category. It's in the music industry and it's also getting into NFTs along with music. So it's got a double whammy. But the reason I like it is not because of its business model, although that is great and you guys can check out the video to find out all about that. The reason why I'm very excited about this video, uh, this, this particular project is because recently it was trading as high as almost $5 or just about $5. And right now it's retraced all the way back down to as low as $1.40 and it's now slowly making its way back. Currently right now it is trading at $2.68, which I think is a very good level because we're above the majority of the volume uh, we are also above the 50 and the 200 day moving average but what's most impressive right now what you should really pay attention to is that the 50 is about to cross the 200 day moving average which is always a very good thing for any investment that you're tracking on, on a chart and the reason why is because once these intersect it's going to create what's called a golden cross and that's going to be the theme of the three trans, the three uh, tokens that we're going to look at today. The three projects all have the same thing in common. The golden cross is either there, just about to form, or just formed, and we're about to get huge pump to the upside. Well, Audius, not only do I love the project, and not only was it riddled with green dots all along the bottom of our indicator here, we use Market Cipher. If you guys want a coupon to start using Market Cipher for yourselves. Well, go ahead and hit the link down below to our website where you can get a discount to 10% off. But you can see it had no business being down here th this far down. These indicators are telling us that this is ready to pop. Now, on top of that, we've also got uh, the momentum shifting now to the upside. We've got the money flow, which is the red here, shifting from negative to positive. And right now we have the golden cross about to form right here. When the red crosses over the green line here, which is the 50 day moving average, over the 200 day moving average, we're gonna form a golden cross. Back here, we formed a death cross, which was um, just the uh, middle of April. But we've made a comeback since then. And when you see these comebacks, normally they take you on a long upward trend. So I'm gonna be picking up some of this audience today I'm going to definitely pick this one up along with the other few projects that I'm going to talk to you about today and a couple other ones that I want your input on that I want to see if the community also agrees with me. All right. So next we have Theta. Theta is one of the projects that I've been wanting to pick up for a long time. I've always recommended it to other people, but it's always been a little bit pricey for me. Now, the reason why I'm looking at it right now is not because it's cheap, but because it's primed right now to pump. Well, I'll tell you the same thing goes with this one. 
it is now crossed over the majority of the volume here. I'm on a four hour. It's crossed over the majority of the volume, which was at 1159. So this was a major resistance level. It's also crossed over the 200 day moving average. And it's also well above the 50 day moving average. And as you can see, if it continues to pump on the upside, which it looks like it will, the 50 will also intersect with the 200 within a day or two. And we'll also get a golden cross here. Now, I just want to show you with this project in particular with data we have not gotten a golden cross since all the way and i'm still going guys all the way back here is the last time we've got a golden cross in december of 2020 was the last time we got a golden cross and what happened after that well as you can see it's been above the 50 and the 200 well i'm sorry it's been above the 200 day moving average pretty much ever since then as you can see we've had this crazy meteoric rise and right now we're about to get it once more now these work out the majority of the time so i am taking these calculated risks but even if data doesn't pump as hard as it did before it's still going to be much uh, higher than it is now and it's a project that i don't mind holding for the long term so if you haven't bought any theta you should definitely take a deeper look at this if you're not familiar with the project well theta is uh, basically solving all the issues with live streaming with being able to broadcast over better 4k streams because youtube if you've ever noticed when someone's doing a live stream like the ones i do well you get a very grainy uh quality of video you don't really get that high output and the reason why is because it just would crash the servers if we were able to broadcast that high but what theta does is that it, it's able to use uh, different nodes throughout the world in order to strengthen that signal and be able to broadcast the signal over at a high resolution so i love what they're doing i love their partnership so i'm very excited to be picking up this one now let's go ahead and talk about the third one the third one we're going to be talking about today is luna luna is one of those projects that i've also been looking to purchase for a while but it went on this crazy rise and I didn't want to buy anything when it was peaking. But right now is the perfect time to pick up Luna. And I will tell you why. We just had the Golden Cross. The Golden Cross just happened on April 30th. And as you can see, as soon as it did, we had this major pump. We had about, we went from a 1650 to about 1928. And right now it's retraced a little bit. But if Golden Crosses tell us anything, it means that it's going to stay above its 200 day moving average probably for a very long time. Now let's take a quick look to see the last time that uh, Terra Luna, because that's the formal name, had a Golden Cross. As you can see, we have not gotten a Golden Cross in forever basically so this one got its golden cross in november of 2020 was the last time we got a golden cross and now we're about to see one not only that but we're also trading at a very nice spot i would have loved to get this one uh down here but i was not in the market to be buying any uh, more projects in the middle of april i would have loved to get this one at 11 dollars. that would have been somewhere between the 50 to 60 percent off of the uh, Fibonacci retracement but right now we're here we're still mm, you know we're at the 70.78 uh, territory and I still think that it's a really great pickup at this point plus now that we've got this golden cross I do see this thing pumping and not only that but I've been hearing that even coin metrics has this one as one of the big winners for this month so I will be picking this one up this is going to be a major winner guys so um, this one We've got Theta and we've got Audius that are going to be humongous for this month of May. And there's another one that I'm very bullish on, guys, and I'm sure you guys all know it too. And hopefully you're owning a piece of it. But the reason I'm bringing it up is because I know a lot of you will be having questions about Ethereum. Is Ethereum going to be breaking all-time expectations because it's already been breaking all-time highs pretty much every single day multiple times a day but where is ethereum going to go to next well there's a lot to be said about ethereum because right now it's trading outside of all types of uh, channels it's really pretty much just going and finding price discovery right now there's a lot of people who say that you know the fibonacci is going to cap this at about 3600 and that's rightfully so and we'll probably get a pullback pretty pretty substantial pullback at some time. So what I will tell you is that Ethereum is a is, is a stupendous buy because this is one that you wanna hold on to forever. So if you're looking to lock up some money and not touch it for a long time, it doesn't matter what you buy Ethereum for. But I will tell you that I believe that Ethereum will have a pullback very soon 
and where it'll retrace back to is probably the areas where it's had the most volume so i do recall that we had a lot of volume around the 2600 area that's why i have this mapped out here and if it drops even further we could see it even come down to the, about the 23 to the, about 2250 area that's a possibility so if you're looking to get into a trade uh, a leverage trade then yeah you can set some targets at 2600 and maybe 22 2300 and uh, get a spectacular deal uh, now will this 100 retrace maybe not maybe the new maybe the new resistance for i'm sorry maybe the new support for ethereum will be three thousand dollars but i will tell you i'm more leaning to the to the rounding area about 2600 is where we'll get some resistance if bitcoin also takes a, a major a major dump then we'll probably even see it possibly drop down to about 24 23 in the 22 area but really can't count on this one too much uh, to drop that low but if it does it does and guys that would be uh, the buy the last the last opportunity you'll have to buy ethereum probably that low before this bull market is over my projections for ethereum are just in line with what everyone else is saying ethereum is going to get to 5,000 before you know it ethereum is probably going to top out the market this time around at about ten thousand dollars so that means guys that you still could do a 3x with a major blue chip just like ethereum so keep an eye on this one there's really no ta to be able to do here on this one guys but i will tell you you're probably going to see this run all the way up to about 3600 before we start making some significant uh reversals and uh, that'll be interesting to watch we no one can really tell but let's keep our fingers crossed for this one so those are the projects that i'm really excited about there are a few others that i'm still doing some due diligence on that i really want to get into such as uh, ftx such as solano which i was supposed to buy a couple of months ago because a friend of mine told me that it was going to be a good uh, it was going to be a good project I didn't see it at the time and kicking myself right now for it but i was holding on to a lot of ones a lot of other ones that i have been uh, mooning lately and obviously you guys know that i'm very bullish on omi ikomi if you guys are here because you see my omi stuff well don't think for one second that i've forgotten about that project right now we're just in a little bit of a consolidation period but we will get some pops in that very soon i can rest assured that that's going to happen so i hope you guys enjoyed this video for today let me know what you think about my three picks if you guys want to get involved with our discord group for absolutely nothing completely free well follow the link down below in the description if you guys want to learn more about cryptocurrency trading well you might want to join our private investor group we meet every tuesday at 12 p.m eastern and there's a lot of things that we dig into guys so if you're looking for more hand holding that might be a good option for you and if you guys would like to help out our channel and use some of the systems and tools that we have and that we use such as market cipher which i showed you guys here in our video today we'll go ahead and also hit the link down below that'll take you to our website culture.state there you can find discounts on just about everything we use and you can even get free crypto when you join these sites well guys if you want to see more videos from us please make sure to hit one of the ones on the screen right now thank you for watching i love you and i will see you next time